Okay, the gauge is holding a calibration somewhere around 60 to 70 cubic feet per hour. Okay. Okay. So, changing scopes here. Just want to show you guys. The wave is infinite by the count. We're in plasma at 7 volts. Um, and here's the positive, I mean, here's the negative electrode again. Now we have three electrodes precipitating the same amount of gas, each one of them. You've got your electron extraction circuit, that's a diode. The center electrode is neutral, showing you there's not very much um, electrical conductivity in the water. Here's the positive electrodes, not producing any gas whatsoever, and then you know, for the rest of you who are just extremely visible, there's your proof in the pudding. It's atmospheric pressure pushing maybe four liters a minute conservatively at under 10 amps and 7 volts. So you'd have to go ahead and do the math on that. It's atmospheric pressure producing four liters a minute at seven volts same fuse under 10 amps in plasma um, you know, completely different scope so you guys can see there's no funny business with the scope patterns sorry put it down for a minute um, we're going to go ahead and turn it down and you can clearly see the resonant wave pattern. There's communication going on in resonance. Okay. Once again, there's your four plus liters a minute running consistently off of this little fast eddy. Mm, fast Freddy, Fast Eddie, whatever you want to call it. I like Fast Eddie because uh, that's really what's going on here. So, and I'm letting this run. I'll just let the camera run out here so you see that, um, you know, no, no bad words, but this isn't under any kind of pressure whatsoever. It's atmospheric pressure. Plus four liters a minute. Do the math. Linear Paul magnetism, four-phase power.